never has a drug like this hit the streets of Los Angeles. An organized crime boss wants to make his presence known. And a private detective, William Blade Hunter, has been called in to shut this group of ghouls down. Now, Cam Clark, President Lee, Rise of the Dread. Go, baby. Have a nice trip. Hey, little friend. You got a good time for me? My destiny will be realized. Just as the prophecy foretells, we shall destroy those who stand against us and bring this city to its knees. The name Bahumat shall once again strike terror into the heart of man. More reports of kids dying. Oh, we're horribly disfigured like my... my poor daughter. This infection is spreading, whatever it is. You've got to find out what's causing this. I suggest you start at the Pleasure Dome. It's where my daughter was last seen. Look for someone called the Jake, who was one of Chandra's friends. Not that I'd call any of the slime that hangs out there a friend. I'm 
sending you a vid transmission hard copy of my daughter. It's not pretty, but you might need it. I don't need to remind you that this investigation is strictly unofficial. I don't want a word of this to leak to the press. Good luck. Need a good used hover car? Momart Cars has the answer for you. Come down and check out our fine selection of new and used hover cars. I make you a great deal. <laughs> Blade, where the hell were you last night? We did have a date, or did that happen to slip your mind? You bag of toxic waste. And don't forget that you left your keys at my place. I should just flush them. I'll be at the Bureau of Records early. In case you happen to roll out of bed before noon. Blade! Maybe I should grab my coat, too. Harmony. You can call me Bliss. How can I help you to find greater harmony in your life? Yeah, see, uh, I'm kind of in trouble with my girlfriend for uh, missing a date, so... I see. I thought I detected anxiety in your aura. It's quite orange. May I suggest a bouquet of roses and a kind apology to your lady friend? spiritual bond with your loved one. Now, if you will give me your card so I can charge your account. Uh, how much is this gonna cost me? Two hundred dollars plus tax. But how can you put a price tag on love? May I have your card, sir? It's been a pleasure doing business with you, sir. May you attain happiness and spiritual fulfillment in this life cycle. Goodbye. City Hall, the last bastion of freedom and democracy. <laughs> Big city. Hours 9 a.m. 5 p.m. Hi, Blade. Want to play house? What are you wasting your time on that little bimbo for? What you need, Blade, is a real woman. Like me, for instance. One who could take you places you never dreamed possible. Oh, darn it. The good ones are always taken. Well, if you ever change your mind, you know where to find me. lot for 
for standing me up last night, you jerk. I had a really special time sitting at home watching Rambo 12 in my brand new evening dress. Where in the hell were you? Out drunk in one of those god-awful pleasure domes again? You could have at least called. You'd better have a darn good excuse for standing me up, Blade. lovely blade but you still owe me a night on the town how about picking me up at 7 30 for dinner at les trois great it's a date then here are the keys you left with me blade yeah thanks ken you're welcome blade come back later if you need me to check out anything else for you see you later busy right now. as a man, uh, posing as a woman, plays cards with two other Pleasure Dome patrons. The man in the fashionable yellow jacket stares intently at his cards, apparently unaware of anything else in the room. The Asian gentleman in the green hat is completely absorbed in a game of one-card stud poker he's playing. Excuse me, miss? Yes? My name is William Hunter. People call me Darcel. I'm at 75. <laughs> You're bluffing your ass off, Sam. Call. Just ignore them. Now, what do you want? Hurry up and discard, Dars. Shut up. You're being rude. I'm sorry, I haven't seen that person yet. Why don't you try the bar? Perhaps there is someone there who can help you. 
Now, if you will excuse me, I must get back to relieving these gentlemen of their excess credits. Goodbye, William. clad woman undulates suggestively upon the raised stage. <laughs> hubba hubba. A scantily clad... A scantily... A scantily clad woman undulates suggestively. A scantily... Yo, what's up? I'm looking for a man called the Jake. What do I look like? The frigging Bureau of Missing Persons? You want to find somebody? Why don't you hire a private dick? I am a private investigator. <laughs> Some P.I. I'd be surprised if you could find your own name in the Vidform directory. Very funny. Look, have you seen the Jake or not? I ain't seen him. Of course, I've been busy drinking this ginger and of tequila. Now, if you'll pardon us, me and Jose Cuervo got some serious business to attend to. Oh, they're handsome. I'm Candy. Looking for a good time, big guy? What a coincidence. I'm here on business, too. And it looks like business is picking up. Not monkey business. I mean serious business. I'm totally serious. And I mean business. Why don't you come home with me? Tell her if you won't. Thanks, but uh, no thanks. Goodbye. Hey, greetings, officer. I'm not a police officer. Oh, sorry, dude. <laughs> no offense. I'm a private investigator, and the name's not Dude, it's Blade. Sorry, dude. Uh, I mean, Blade. People around here call me Casey Jones. What can I do you for? talking about sure man me and the Jake we're like real tight uh, I can't quite remember what he looks like though oh well ask around if he's here I'm sure you'll run into him eventually uh, if he wants you to that is <laughs> thanks for the info no problem I see you around, dude. I mean, man. I mean, Blade. What you want, wimp? Who you calling wimp, Rhino Breath? What? I mean, I'd like to order a drink, please. We don't serve cops in my bar, buddy. I'm not a police officer anymore. Don't matter. You still smell like pig, man. Mm. 
maybe I have, and maybe I haven't. What's it to you? I have some business with him. Like hell! I'm sure he'll want to hear what I have to say. I don't think he'll care to listen to anything you tell him. But if you want to find him, ask the guy in the green coat at the end of my bar. Yo, kiss up. What you want? Yeah? What you want him for? You look mighty uptown to this screwboy. Yeah? Who might this friend be? The Jake, he got lots of friends. Shandy? What about her? Crazy! Get out of my sight! Oh my god! Shandi! In my office! Oh my god! Shandi! The name's Willard Jakeston. Everybody calls me the Jake. Shandi thought it up. Holy mother! What happened to? I mean, what could have done this? She was, damn it, she was stupid. I told her. Told her that Chen was. Nobody never heard of it. Look, bud, Chandra was a big girl. Damn it. What the hell did this to her? Because I'm a coward. Look, you think I wanted this to happen? She was my only friend. All right. His name is Chen. He's a pimp for some big timers down in Chinatown. He's got a place over at 554 Wallaby Street, number 798. That's all I know. Shandi was hanging around with him and his group. I'll be around if you find anything out. ID card. I wonder who that goon with the eye patch is. Maybe he's one of Chen's buddies. Hey, watch it! 
My fault. Yeah, well, you really should be more careful in this neighborhood. I hear there are a lot of dangerous criminals around. victims and their loved ones may be entitled to a cash award from the 18 billion dollars in asbestos trust funds and you may not have to file a lawsuit to qualify if diagnosed with mesothelioma or lung cancer caused by exposure to asbestos call the number on your screen now even if a loved one had mesothelioma or asbestos lung cancer and is passed your family may still be entitled to a cash award mesothelioma is a rare cancer caused by exposure to asbestos many victims work in the Navy or in shipyards, mills, carpentry, roofing, insulation, construction, or automotive industries. For over 30 years, our legal team has successfully helped thousands of victims and families. Time is limited. You may not have to file a lawsuit if you or a loved one has been diagnosed with mesothelioma or lung cancer caused by exposure to asbestos. Call 1-800-994-1882. That's 1-800-994-1882. Ho, ho, ho! Phil Swift here. This holiday season, give him Flex Seal. The easy way to coat, seal, and stop leaks fast. Flex Seal fills cracks and holes, stopping the toughest leaks while remaining completely flexible. Flex Seal can keep ice, snow, even freezing rain from destroying your home. It's actually liquid rubber in a can. Make crafts and ornaments. Keep water from leaking under the tree. Even protect vehicles from salty roads. Take care of everyone on your shopping list with the Flex Seal family of products. Like Flex Seal Colors, the easy way to coat, transform, and protect virtually anything. Ideal for arts and crafts, even projects and hobbies. And check out Flex Shot. This super thick formula bonds to any surface, dries to a tough, stretchy rubber, and instantly stops tough leaks. Perfect for caulking kitchens and baths. All Flex Seal products make great stocking stuffers. They're the perfect gift in a can. Flex Seal is the number one way to coat, seal, and protect large areas. And Flex Shot's mildew resistant formula caulks, bonds, and seals. Imagine all the things you can do with Flex Seal and Flex Shot. We're delivering a lot of Flex Seal this holiday, so we turn the boat into a flying sleigh. Give the gift everyone will love. Get your choice of Flex Seal or Flex Shot for just $19.99. But ho, ho, hold everything. To make this the best deal of the season, we're going to double your order and send you two cans. That's twice the ceiling power for just $19.99. Call now. To order Flex Seal and Flex Shot today, call 1-800-538-5591. That's 1-800-538-5591. Or go to GetFlexSeal.com. Call or go online now. Impressive amount of expensive audio video equipment. Where does this guy get the money for all this stuff? <sighs> you have. You have. Unit 41, Unit 41, we have an illegal entry at 554 Wallaby Street, number 798. Go check it out. 
Unit 41, roger. Invalid identification. I must regretfully inform you that we are a week behind schedule on our production quota. We must be ready in three days or the schedule will not be met. We need more time. We're already pushing the end of the safety margin for the reactor coolant systems. You must push them harder. You will either meet the production schedule or face the wrath of Bahumak. I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll see what more can be done, Mr. Kwong.
there anything else you'd like me to take a look at, Blade? I haven't any idea where this patch has been dealt with, but I can have the lab boys analyze it for you. It won't be ready until tomorrow, though. Oh, that'll be fine. Look, I'll come get the report when it's ready. you'd like me to take a look at, Blade? I'll run this card through the computer and see what information the databank has on this character. Here it comes now. this Chinese calligraphy. It looks like an archaic dialect of Mandarin Chinese. Why don't you take it to one of the old scholars down in Chinatown? I'm sure someone will be able to decipher it. for nothing. There are rats as big as dogs down there.
Now I just have to check my vid phone to see who's calling our pal Johnny Kwan. It is I, Deng Wang. I have received some unsettling news concerning a possible disruption in our production schedule. There must be no further delays, Brother Kwong. I want you to personally continue checking on progress down at our warehouse. You will resolve this situation quickly. Good day. Must have the wrong house. Sister? <laughs> oh, I missed you so much. They waited up all night for you, you know. It's a long way from West Africa. Oh, coffee. Kiss here. I brought you something from far away. <laughs> really? Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? You're my present this year. The best part of waking up is folders in your cup. And the wolf was huffing and puffing. Kind of like you sometimes, Grandpa. Well, when you have COPD, it can be hard to breathe. It can be hard to get air out, which can make it hard to get air in. So I talked to my doctor. She said... Simvacort could help you breathe better, starting within five minutes. Simvacort doesn't replace a rescue inhaler for sudden symptoms. Simvacort helps provide significant improvement of your lung function. Simvacort is for COPD, including chronic bronchitis and emphysema. It should not be taken more than twice a day. 
Simbacor contains Promoterol. Medicines like Promoterol increase the risk of death from asthma problems. Simbacort may increase your risk of lung infections, osteoporosis, and some eye problems. You should tell your doctor if you have a heart condition or high blood pressure before taking it. Simbacort could mean a day with better breathing. Watch out, piggies. <laughs> Simbacort. Breathe better starting within five minutes. Call or go online to learn more about a free prescription offer. If you can't afford your medication, AstraZeneca may be able to help. At Granny Stitches with Viking, we are your home for Husqvarna Viking sewing, embroidering, and quilting machines. But we are so much more. Now let us help you create your sewing studio with our Inspira Studio Furniture. We offer on-site service and repair to all machines. And at Granny Stitches, we offer classes for all ages and and skill levels. So whether you have ever threaded a needle or not, you can come learn new projects and sew like a pro. Come visit us at Granny Stitches with Viking, 3806 Floyd Boulevard. In Whoa, that thing really went up. <laughs> oh, but somebody's going to be mad. Greetings, William Hunter. I am called Chang Li. It is most gratifying to finally make your acquaintance. How do you know who I am? A man can learn a great many things if he knows how to listen. What else have you heard? Many things, William Hunter. I have learned about the tragic death of a young girl who was the daughter of a powerful man in the government. It is also known by my humble self and others that you are investigating this affair. What others? Those who wish you ill. Saturn in retrograde will soon be occluded by the moon in the constellation of Draco the Dragon. Events of great pitch and moment are afoot. The old order shall be destroyed and the new shall take its place. You alone can challenge the evil Bahumat and prevent ascendancy of the Dark One. Chosen? By who? What for? Old man, just what in the hell are you running off at the mouth about? Please to stop asking so many silly questions and let me finish. Signs, portents, omens, sheep entrails, and fortune cookies have all foretold of the coming battle with the Dark One. They also predict that a hero will arise to combat him. Is this the, uh, hero who gets chopped into thousands of itty-bitty pieces? Yes, but that's only half of it. There's more? Yes, but I wouldn't worry about it too much. Not a great deal. But please to let me offer my humble assistance to aid you. Intriguing. This wrist translates as follows. Brethren, the rise of the dragon is upon us. Target date 3-8-56-87. Hollywood Reservoir. Long live Bahumat. Fine, but what the hell does it mean? I cannot fathom it completely, but I can tell you that Bahumat was an evil warlord magician who came to power in the latter part of the 7th century on the Chinese calendar. This translates to roughly 3000 BC on your Julian calendar. The ancient scrolls say he used the power of evil to transform himself into a dragon to terrorize and destroy his enemies. His ultimate goal was to restore chaos and rule the world in darkness. Bahumat and his minions destroyed many cities and killed and enslaved 
thousands of people. What happened to him? Not to interrupt, please. I'm coming to it. According to legend, he was finally overcome by the power of a white magician named Ginsu, which means knife in your language. Unfortunately, knife was critically injured in the battle, and it was the last act of his departing soul to summon all the powers of light to banish Bahumat to the netherworld for 5,000 years. The date on the piece of paper translates to August 3rd, 2053 on your calendar. As for the name Hollywood, it is completely unfamiliar to me. So Bahumat is uh, gone forever, right? Not precisely. There is a prophecy foretelling his return. In the age of decay, mocking the dawn of darkness, the dragon will arise. His evil shall become an addiction in the soul of mankind, and death shall be a blessing to those he has touched. Many will fear him. Many will fall before him. One will sacrifice all to destroy him. Sounds like a lot of baloney to me. Please do not judge things you do not understand. What you believe at this juncture is irrelevant. Time will prove the truth of what I have spoken to you. Now I must render you what aid I can. Here are ancient talismans of protection and good fortune to carry on your person at all times. First, tome of ancient wisdom given to me by most aged and honorable father. Second, stone of life pressed by Lama. And third, if all else fails, bulletproof vest Kevlar made by Dupont. Also, pleased to have this fortune cookie. Thanks for all your help, Chang Li. Hey, beautiful. <laughs> You're ready to hit the town? I'm impressed, Blay. You're even on time. A toast to us. To us. Coming here on such short notice, especially you, Brother Kwong. There has been a severe disruption in our MTZ production operation. This interference is the result of William Hunter's meddling in our affairs. A man you failed to stop, Brother Kwong! You know what the penalty for failure is, Brother. Bahumat's wrath must be appeased! Your soul shall feed the dragon! I suggest you all remember it. Snake, bring me this blade hunter's head on a plate. Use whatever means is necessary. He and all that he cares for must be destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> 